So hi guys, welcome back to the second video related to um, ating AutoCAD tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to share to you on how to make a logo or tracing logo in AutoCAD. So dito sa video na to, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano mag-trace ng isang logo. And yung logo na to is yung mga madalas na makita sa mga working drawings. So... So, ipapakita ko sa inyo is kung paano gawin yung logo for DENR. And, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano ko gawin yung mga logos na yun and the uh, commands na gagamitin natin para gawin yung logo na yun. And, before we start our video, I'm asking for your, for, for your support by subscribing to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button in the bottom of our video. And, if ever that you want to be updated on the videos that I will release is make sure that you click the um, notification bell and select the all to be updated on the videos that I will release, including the um, AutoCAD tutorial, okay? So, let's begin. So, first is go to our um, drawing. And dito sa drawing na to is, nag-add ako ng example, which is yung ginawa ko na depth ed. So, dito sa depth ed is, tinrace ko muna, binakat ko lang dito, ng paisa-isa yung lines, and then, I add the text here. And after that is, naglagay tayo ng hatch para maglagay ng kulay. So, kagaya ng aking example is, magbe-base tayo sa logo ng DNR. So, paano? So, first is, go to our insert tab. And after the insert tab, let's go to the um, reference. For reference, select the attach. And after that, we can select now our Logo, which is the DENR, like I said earlier. After that, we can select this and attach it here. So we have here the logo of DENR. And I'm going to fade this one. So for making logo like this, is ang ginagawa ko is hindi ko na sinasama yung mismong text kasi mahirap gumawa ng arc na text and medyo unfamiliar pa sa akin kung paano gumawa ng text. So, in this case, sa ganito, first is gagawin na natin yung bilog o yung parang um, outer niya, outline niya para malaman natin kung hanggang saan ba yung ating um, the drawing. So, we have here up to here next is to make a line i think because we have the line used here like this and offset according sa ating logo so for this logo is ang ginagawa ko is mano mano talaga siyang gagawin hindi yung um picture talaga. Kasi, pag picture kasi is, lumalabo. Kasi, i-export mo siya as PDF. And, pag naging PDF na siya is, lumalabo yung picture. So, para may natin yun is, ginagawa na lang natin is, kinakad na lang natin. Para, um, mas precise yung itsura niya, and at the same time, mas appropriate yung um, tating niya. So, offset naman dito. So, in this case, we are going to follow the lines here according sa ating logo. So, mano-mano talaga and pagtsatsaga lang. And kung mabilis ka na sa CAD is mas madali na lang sa'yo maggawa ng logo. Okay, so we have now here yung ating horizontal. Trim natin yung mga sobra. Since di natin kailangan ng sobra, pwede natin putulin. Next is the slant na line. So, nakaslant siya dito like this. Ayan. And pwede natin i-copy from the same um, place, tapos, konting modify lang. So, we have it, 
And after that, we can make another line. So, ganun lang siya. Parang, ginago, parang gumagawa ng um, sarili mong version ito. After that, after natin gawin yung mga ano na to, mga lines na to is, i-trim natin siya para magmukhang malinis ang ating um, drawing. So, we have the last line here. And after that, we can trim. Or if you don't um, mind, pwede kayo gumamit ng ibang command. We can use the F para magmit yung mga lines. And I am typing the space para maulit ang yung command. Ganun yung fastest way para maulit ng yung command. Either enter or space is maulit yung command. So we have here the um the last one, the slant. Okay. So next one is yung another line dito. Okay. So next one is another circle. Para dito sa ating um, tree. I think it is a tree. And we can make a circle for this. And pag hindi sakto, pwede natin siyang i-move. Okay. So we have now here. Next is to trim this. Okay, so we have here the um yung circle natin kanina and trim. Okay, so after we trim, we can make now the line dito. Ang nakatayo. So pa nakatayo or straight line is the ortho mode. So for ortho mode, we can Make a horizontal or vertical line. Next is to offset. So for offset, select the key command O. And you can now offset the um, lines that you can use or objects rather. So, bakit ako nag offset dito ng horizontal line? Kasi ito yung magiging guide natin para gumawa ng um, diagonal line palabas. And after natin gumawa ng diagonal lines is tatanggalin na natin tong guideline na to. So, another offset here. I think. And last one. Okay, so we have here the guidelines here. And we can make now um line here and another one here so siguro kahit hindi ganong perfect is okay naman kasi um hindi naman masyadong zoom na zoom naman kapag na print to sa mga um 20 by 30 na papel and Hindi naman gaano halata kasi after natin gawin nito is i-shade na natin yung color niya. So after that we can use now the other one or the the left side. So line lang again. Dito hangga dito. Dito hangga dito. Oops. Ulitin natin. Kamali tayo. We have the line here. Up to here. Another line. From here up to here. Line up to here. 
So, okay mako-confuse kung bakit ganito yung itsura. So, yung horizontal line is guideline lang natin. And guideline is very important para accurate yung ating gagawing drawing. Also, para may guide tayo kung saan tayo maglalagay ng mga lines na gagamitin natin. So, we have here the um, ginawa natin. After that, pwede na natin i-modify na tong mga lines ato. So, first is to trim yung labas. Since, yan yung hindi natin kailangan. So, pati itong mga maliliit, kailangan um, tanggalin. Yung mga diagonal lines lang ang puputuli natin. So, pati ito, itong circle is damay na. Since kasama na siya dito sa loob, pwede na natin itong i-trim. Up to here. And enter. Next is to delete na yung ating mga guidelines dito. And trim also. Trimming na lang dito. And okay. So we have now this um drawing. Ang ginagawa ko is kinokopya ko yung tatlo drawing sa tatlo. So bakit tatlo? Una is yung original, next is yung nakakad, and last is yung nakahatch. So, bakit? Para if in case na nagkamali tayo, is pwede nating um, maiba or magamit yung backup. Parang backup lang natin siya. So, after natin magawa nito, is pwede nating i-hatch. So, by hatching, we can type the command H. Enter. So, first is yung ating green color. So, select the green which is here, and the solid. Then, susundin natin yung place kung saan dapat maglagay ng green. So, dito. Then, after here, sa ang part, wait. Dito. Oops. Wait. So, pag ganyan is, um, ginagawa ko is explode. Tapos, gino-join ko. Ayan. Ma-join siya. So, we can hatch again. Try natin i-hatch. Mali tayo. So, dito. Dito. At dito. So, we have now the green. Next is the, um, the white. Select the, um, this, 255, 255, 255, and not this, white. Kasi pag white is matic, magiging black siya kapag kinonvert na natin sa PDF. So, dapat ay sa 255, 255, 255. And then, select naman natin to, eto, eto, and eto. I forgot to trim this. So, trim all. So, ito mga unnecessary is trim natin. Kalimutan ko siya i-trim. Sorry. Then, yung sa isa sa ating backup. So, we have here, here, ito, ito, at ito. Then last is the color blue. So, iba na natin itong blue. 
solid. So we have the first half and this this part and the smallest part here. Perfect. So we have now the hatch na um hatch na places and after that pwede na nating tanggalin yung mga lines dito kasi pag tin, pag di natin tinanggal yung line is um magiging black na outline yung mag, mag, magpupunta dito and this is the um, logo of DNR na ginawa natin na example kung paano mag-trace ng logo um Siguro, ito ay masyadong mahabang process kung paano siya gawin. Since ito ay mano-mano lamang yung pag -line, paggawa ng lines and yung paglagay ng hatch. And for me, siguro matyaga siya and kailangan ng konting practice para medyo mapabilis kung paano gawin to. And I think this is the end of our video. And please like this video and share to others na gusto matuto mag AutoCAD. And kung gusto niyo po ng... Um, basic tutorial is ilalagay ko sa ating um, description box yung link ng ating playlist the, I think, the 10th part of the basic tutorial for AutoCAD and this is the, um, some of the tutorials na pwedeng ma-apply sa pag ng drawings and I hope that I will see you in my next video. Peace!